With regard to the workout, it is intended for intermediates and you're gonna be performing it four days per week. With regard to the four days, you don't wanna do them back to back to back to back. You wanna give yourself at least one day's rest. So I'd recommend doing something like a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or something like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday split. And you're gonna be performing this workout for four weeks. Throughout the entire four weeks, Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys an exercise routine to help you lose fat, build muscle, and increase strength, and it's gonna be Charles Poliquin's German Body Comp Program. This is month four of the six month program. If you ended up missing month one, I'm gonna include a link right up over here so you could follow along in order, and I've made a few minor modifications to the actual workout. Before we get on with the breakdown, a couple of disclaimers. Number one, you need to make sure that your diet is on point. You can't expect optimal results with a suboptimal diet, and if you need help with your nutrition, you can either check out this video right up over here, or check out the nutrition links in the description down below. And then the second thing worth noting is if you want to maximize strength and hypertrophy gains, you need to make sure that you're following progressive overload. If you're not sure how to implement progressive overload, then you could check out this video right up over here. And now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine. But first, real quick, like the video and comment down in the comment section as it would really help me out and help out with the algorithm. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other content. And now we're going to get into the breakdown of the routine. As stated, this is month number four. So this is phase four and this is going to be your day two and four workout. You're going to be alternating this with the day one and three workout. If you ended up missing that from last week, I'm going to include a link right up over here. But with regard to the workout, it is intended for intermediates and you're going to be performing it four days per week. With regard to the four days, you don't want to do them back to back to back to back. You want to give yourself at least one day's rest. So I'd recommend doing something like a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, or something like a Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday split. And you're going to be performing this workout for four weeks. Throughout the entire four weeks, the workout is going to be identical. The only thing that's going to change from week to week is the number of sets and also the rest period. With regard to the sets, in weeks one, two, three, and four, you are going to be performing two sets, three sets, four sets, and then dropping back down to two sets respectively. And then with regard to the rest periods, you're going to do the same thing where you're going to drop it down and come back up. But the rest is going to be different for, from your A and C exercises and your B and D exercises. For your A and C exercises, you are going to be resting in weeks one, two, three, and four, 75 seconds, then dropping down to 60, 45, and then going back up to 75 seconds. And then with your B and D exercises, your rest periods are going to be 60 seconds in week one, and then you're gonna drop it down to 45 seconds, 30, and then bring it back up to 60 seconds. And that's pretty much it. Now we're gonna get into the actual exercises. We have eight different exercises and they're all gonna be performed as supersets. So we have four different groupings. We have the A's, B's, C's, and D's. For your first superset, it's gonna be the front foot elevated dumbbell split squat with the wide parallel grip pull down. For the front foot elevated dumbbell split squat, we are going to be performing eight to 10 repetitions using 75% of your one repetition maximum and following a 4-0-2-0 tempo. What that means is you're gonna lower down for four seconds and then come up for two seconds. Then you're gonna do the wide parallel grip pull down for 12 to 15 repetitions using 66% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3-1-1-0 tempo. What that means is you are going to release the weight for three seconds, you're gonna pause at the top for one second and then you're gonna pull down for one second. Once once you've done all of the sets, all of the repetitions and rested the allotted amount of time, you're going to move on to your B grouping, which is going to be the bent over easy bar row with the incline dumbbell bench press using a semi supinated grip. For the bent over easy bar row, we're going to be performing 10 to 12 repetitions using 70% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3-1-1-0 tempo. What that means is you are going to release the weight for three seconds, you're going to pause at the bottom for one second, and then you're going to pull for one second. And then you're going to move on to the incline dumbbell press using a semi supinated grip, which you're going to perform for eight to 10 repetitions using 75% of your one repetition maximum and following a 4-0-1-0 tempo. That means you're going to lower for four seconds and then immediately press for one second. Once you've done all of the sets, repetitions, and rest period, then you're gonna move on to the C grouping of supersets, which is gonna be the standing calf raise with your toes pointed in and the triceps push down using the rope. For the standing calf raise with the toes in, we're doing 12 to 15 repetitions using 66% of your one repetition maximum and following a 2-1-1-0 tempo. That means you're gonna lower down for two seconds, pause in that stretch position for one second, and then come up for one second. And then for the triceps push down with the rope, we're doing 10 to 12 repetitions using 70% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3-0-1-0 tempo. That means you're gonna release the weight for three seconds and then immediately press for one second. Once you've done all of the sets, repetitions, and rest of the allotted time, you're gonna move on to your final grouping of exercises, which is gonna be the barbell duck squat, duck squat and the reverse sit-up on the incline bench. 
For the barbell duck squat, we're performing 10 to 12 repetitions using 70% of your one repetition maximum and following a 4-0-X-1 tempo. What that means is you are going to lower down for four seconds and then immediately explode up as fast as you can and then rest for one second at the top position. And then for the reverse sit up on the incline bench, we're going to do 12 to 15 repetitions using 66% of your one repetition maximum and following a 3-1-1-0 tempo. That means that you're going to be laying down on the bench. You're going to lower your legs down to the ground for three seconds. You're going to pause at that position for one second, and then you are going to bring your knees toward your chest for one second. Once you've done all of the sets, all of the repetitions and rested the allotted amount of time, that is it for this workout right over here. And then next Friday at two o'clock PM, I'm going to be taking you through phase five, the day one and three workouts. So be out on the look out for that next Friday at 2 o'clock p.m. If you guys have any questions at all with regard to anything that I discussed today, go ahead and ask your questions down in the comment section so I can help you guys out. But that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to keep making these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I'm going to be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.